There's an item in the news lately that I find very disturbing. It was reported on CTV News that uh, last Thursday, an RCMP officer in Prince George, B.C. tasered an 11-year-old boy. Now, that they, they say that the Mountie who tasered the boy has been placed on administrative leave. Oh, well, that's a harsh punishment for electrocuting a child. Well, the kid had apparently stabbed a worker at the group home where he was living. And uh, he must have been one... Hell of a kid if the police couldn't get him under control any other way than to taser him. But this isn't the first time this kind of stuff has happened. Last year, an officer was accused of using a taser on a 10-year-old in Indiana at uh, Tender Teddy's daycare. You gotta kind of wonder what a 10-year-old's doing in a daycare. Maybe he was a special needs kid. I don't know. But they said that, you know, the kid was out of control, although not armed, and they had to taser him for his safety and everyone else's safety. It was a 10-year-old. And this problem's been with us ever since they brought tasers into use. There was another article from back in 2004. The first incident in Miami, Florida, involved a, a drunk 12-year-old girl. The policeman was escorting her to his car when she broke away from him and ran across the parking lot. And he had to taser her for his and her safety. Because I guess he's a little too out of shape from eating all those donuts to run after a 12-year-old. And the second incident involved a six-year-old boy who got tasered at school. He broke a picture frame and was wielding a shard of glass. I mean, a six-year-old, like two years older than my little boy. I'm pretty sure that if my little boy was wielding a shard of glass, I wouldn't have to use a cattle prod on him. So I guess it's a tough call if an 11-year-old has, you know, a knife and he's going to use it. You don't want anybody else to get hurt, but was he actually armed at the time? So it was very hard for the, the news or the human rights groups to find out exactly what happened because the investigation is being handled by the police. So it's the police investigating the police and anyone who wants information has to go through the police. And they didn't want to release certain information like whether the kid was actually armed because it wouldn't really make a difference. I mean, you know, I mean, he, does he really have to have a weapon to be that dangerous? I mean, he might have, I don't know done something. So I guess whether he was armed or not was, you know, a minor detail. Well, my personal opinion is that, you know, we shouldn't have tasers at all because there it's just a, a sure way to get police to abuse their power because normally you wouldn't shoot someone unless they were, you know, going to shoot you or they were really threatening somebody's life and you couldn't handle it any other way than to shoot them. And the taser is supposed to replace a gun, but obviously it's just, you know, it's used to it's used as like as a way to stun people into submission. And I actually spoke to a, a police officer a couple summers ago here in Montreal and asked him what he thought of tasers. He said there were only two on the police force in Montreal at that time, and that you know he thought there should be more of them. And when I asked him, well, what about the fact that you know it's dangerous and sometimes people die? He actually said to me that uh, you can't hold a taser responsible because if somebody dies after being tasered it's because they were weak like they had a medical condition and they probably would have died anyway that's like saying you know if my grandmother has a heart condition and i jump out in front of her and scare the hell out of her and she has a heart attack well you know she was probably going to die anyway but the taser is is a way of electrocuting people and it's very dangerous and the cops just take it too lightly and they use it whenever you know it just makes it easier for them to subdue somebody but it's not supposed to be used that way and especially not against children I mean you ever looked at the cops they're pretty big you think they can't handle an 11 year old must have been one really big 11 year old and another thing about this story is they mentioned that the 11 year old was an Aboriginal kid who was living in a foster home and I just like to mention I don't think people realize um, what's been done to the Aboriginal people in Canada. They've basically been victims of genocide for decades and decades, actually, you know, centuries. And if you don't know what has gone on with the residential schools and the genocide of Aboriginal people in Canada, you might want to check out Kevin Annette's website, hiddenfromhistory.org. I wonder if this kid had been white if he had been tasered. I wonder if he had been white would he have been in a foster care home in the first place? I mean, this is just, it goes so deep. And it's just so flat out evil what they've 
done and what they still do to Aboriginal people in Canada that I think it's, you know, a pretty big issue and it's probably a big part of this story even though it's not the focus of the story. You take Aboriginal people, you rip their children away from their parents, you put them in residential schools, you don't let them speak their language, you torture them, you drill nails through their tongues, electrocute them, beat them, get them pregnant, and literally throw their babies in crematory ovens. This is the kind of stuff that went on in residential schools, okay? They, they destroy these people. And this little boy is a part of that. He's a part of that history. And then the solution is to taser him. I just think it's really sad. I don't think any child should be tasered. And, I, and in fact, I don't think we should have tasers at all because you may, you know, be able to use it once or twice or on a few occasions to, you know, intercept a person who's armed, you know, with a, a gun. But on the other hand, it, the weapon, the taser, is abused so much. And then you have children being victimized and you have old ladies and people like Robert Jakansky being tasered uh, for no for no reason you know really it just gives the police a tool they can use to abuse their power so thanks for listening to me and I'll see you next time